Is there any significance in folding a prayer mat so shaitan does not pray on it? Or if it is already folded, do we have to unfold it to pray on it? First of all, in Islam, we do not have the concept of prayer mat. And people are shocked now. Whoa, whoa. All of our lives we, use, we are using prayer mat. Is this something out of Islam? Says, there is no concept of prayer mat. The Prophet والسلام, stated in a hadith, وَجُعِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ لِي مَسْجِدًا وَطَهُورًا And Allah Azza wa Jal has made the earth for me a place or, or a means of purification and a place of prayer. So anywhere you want, you can simply sit and uh, uh, or stand, that is, and pray. There's no, no problem in that, none whatsoever. Nowadays, people, because of shaitan's whispering, they're doubting the purity of everything. They say, oh, okay, my common room or my living room or my bedroom, um, somebody must have walked with his shoes on, which means that there might be some uh, traces of impurity or feces or of dogs and, and, and cats, etc., or a mouse might have crossed the way. What are these things? Do you have any certainty that there is an impurity? The answer is no. Then the default that is pure and halal for you to pray. But people don't listen. So they insist that whenever they want to pray, they put in front of them this prayer mat. And they decorate it with the picture of a Kaaba. So that when you look at it, you think of the Kaaba. And they've added to it half of it, the Masjid of Medina. So you have Medina and, and Kaaba. And who knows, maybe on the third uh, half of it, or, uh, or the third part of it, they would put the Masjid Al-Aqsa. And what is this? This is not related to Islam. Hypothetically speaking, no problem. I would not say that it's haram or your prayer is invalid. Go ahead and do it. Now, what is the concept of folding it? He said, hmm. After finishing, you have to fold your prayer mat. Why? So that shaitan does not come and pray. Excuse me? Does shaitan pray? He says, oh, no, no, he was cursed by Allah Azza wa Jal till the day of judgment, but we don't want to give him a chance to repent and ask Allah for forgiveness. SubhanAllah. What kind of thinking is this? Let him pray if he wants to pray. Sometimes when you leave the Quran open, the elders come and say, Close the Quran. Why? Said, so shaitan does not come in and, and, and read in it. And do you think shaitan would have the audacity to come and read? Or he's interested in reading? He's got a mission and a vision. He doesn't want to pray. He doesn't want to ask Allah for forgiveness. He knows that he's doomed till the day of judgment. And his mission in life is to pull with him to hellfire as many as he can. So what are you talking about? All of these things are nonsense. Closing the Quran so that the shaitan would not read. Folding the prayer mat so that the shaitan would not pray. All of this is baseless nonsense. It has no credibility, none whatsoever. As for unfolding it when you want to pray, excuse me. If you want to pray, how are you going to pray when it's folded? So you have to unfold it and pray on it. So this question has no place here and Allah knows best.